Hello everybody, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Carol, this is my channel Sew Carol and you're coming to me today for the results of the third spin of the Fabric Wheel of Fate. Now I'm going to quickly backtrack in case you've never visited my channel before and don't know what on earth I'm going on about. This is a fun challenge I set to myself to use up some um, sweatshirting and heavy jersey fabrics before spring really hits. So these are fabrics that I've had in my wardrobe for quite a while and I need to get them sewn up. Um, so my father kindly made me this lovely spinner here and it has been fantastic in helping me choose which fabrics to sew up next because I spend a lot of time um, looking through the fabrics and patterns and yeah Let's just let the wheel decide what I'm going to do. The spinner landed on, this is not grey, it was a kind of a bluey sweatshirting, heavy sweatshirting fabric. This kind of colour, kind of a sea green colour. Uh, it's very heavy, I think I had about three metres of it. I got it in a knit subscription box. So what did I make? As you can see, there are two smiley faces. So actually I made two items out of it and both of those items I am so pleased with. You would not believe how happy I am. So the, the rules I kind of set myself were I had to use a pattern that I had in my stash, hadn't used before. I slightly cheated this time. I definitely used one pattern I'd never used before, but I also used a pattern I had used before but slightly different uh, quite a while ago and didn't have great success with the sizing on it because I made a few mistakes so kind of cheated a little bit but there we go so uh, which shall I choose first I will choose the joggers yes I made a pair of joggers the joggers I chose, um, I've made some joggers before and I've done the Hudson pants a couple of times with great success um, for my husband as well, I got the men's version and the ladies version. When I've done the Hudson pants, I can't remember who they are by, so I will put the name down below. But I have done the version where you can raise up, uh, make it high-waisted. But I thought I'd give these a try. Now these are, it's a very general pattern for male, female and children, teens, sorry, teens and adults. Um, and it's Simplicity 8268. So I thought I'd give those a go. Very, very happy indeed. Now, now you may think, I don't know what you're gonna think about this, but I, because they are such a pale color, I have to say, I wouldn't wear them out. They are just purely for the house. Um, because they're a pale color, I wanted to jazz them up slightly. Um, I don't quite know what the word for it is. Is it ostentatious? I'm not sure but I have done a embroidery design on it. Um, just to kind of make it look a bit more um, store-bought or designer. So I put on this really subtle, cute embroidery design. I've got my initials in the middle and the flower ring. Now this embroidery design I actually got from the Art Spira app. Uh, it's a brother, so I've got a brother embroidery machine and there's an app that you can get and you can design things on there and just whiz by magic, by Wi-Fi, straight to the machine and Bob's your uncle, you have it. Um, so I actually did this, a simple flower design and I managed to insert my initials in the middle. So I don't know what you think, but I did it just on the side, very subtly. Um, super pattern, got two lovely pockets. I did get a what the nearest colour I could get, ribbing this time, for the uh, cuffs and the the ankle cuffs and the waistband. They are very, very cosy indeed, um, say so nice pockets. I recently, um, I realised that I make a lot of the smaller sizes of things and you only ever have on any pattern I've come across one size of pocket. So I recently um, had trouble with a sweatshirt I made where 
the size of the pocket on me, because it was a men's and female pattern, was enormous. So I thought, oh no, I'm going to be clever. I'm going to reduce the size of the pocket down for these. Now that sounds a great idea if I was concentrating on what I was doing. So I did. I reduced down. This was the size of the pocket. So I took off a good inch all the way around. But what I forgot was this is the type of pocket that actually sits into the waistband. So what happened is when I took the inch off the top, it meant that the top of the pocket didn't, couldn't be enclosed with the waistband. So what I had to do was bring down the front of the joggers just a little bit and I've actually got away with it. So, so it just enclosed that top bit of the pocket. Silly me didn't think about that at all but yeah it would have been an inch deeper and these pockets are far big enough for me so that was item number one really pleased really good views super simple pattern um, I'm glad I've made it up now because I've got an alternative to the Hudson pants that I was using and it's got adult sizes in here child's excellent super simple but just don't do what I did with the pocket now, obviously I could put photos up. Now I made a second thing because I had so much fabric left over. So this is where I cheated slightly and I used a Burda magazine I had. This was September, 2020. Now, if you've never come across Burda magazines before, I certainly can't buy them locally. And I went through a stage of buying them online. So they are similar. There's an, another couple of, uh, magazines very similar to this so you have the burda patterns you have the um, obviously the selections in there and then you get this huge mass jigsaw of a kind of patterns all the patterns are on one sheet of paper or sometimes two and you have to find the pattern number and trace it off it is a bit of an effort, I have to say, but you do get a lot of patterns included in a magazine. So I went through a stage of getting this. I don't anymore, um, but in this happened to be a uh, zip up, not hoodie, zip up jacket that I have made before. Now, when I first, I've made two versions. I did it, I think, oh, maybe over, a, well over a year ago. The first version I did, I traced around and I didn't realise, and I should know this because I do let alone, that I didn't realise that I had to add a seam allowance. So the one I made up was really tight. The second one I thought um, I'd go a size bigger and it ended up being too big for me and I had to give it away. So this time round, I made the smaller size and did add a small seam allowance of 10 centimetres. And it has worked out perfectly. Now, the good thing about this, there's, you can get a burda easy as well, but the good thing about this one that I actually chose is they had extra instructions for it. And also every few patterns in the magazine, they actually highlight, first time you've ever done it, they actually highlight it in kind of this red shading. So that wasn't me that's done that. That is, so you can clearly identify it and to kind of get the hang of what you're doing. So let me find it for so you. So this is the jacket I chose. Now, you can actually buy this Burda pattern if you're interested in it. And I will find out the number and I'll put it below. Um, but yeah, it's a zip up jacket. This particular version didn't have the pockets on the front. Further on in the magazine, they did a hooded version with the pockets. So what I did is actually added the pockets onto this one. So because it's kind of one of the sort of get to know the magazine designs, they've got better instructions on it than normal. And we all know Burda instructions can be a bit funny. <clears throat> so normally you would just have, this was the hooded version, you kind of have the instructions there, um, no pictures, all written instructions basically. So you have to know what you're, you're doing. And if you're quite like me, you, you like visual instructions, then you can be in trouble with this. But as I say, this version I chose actually had that little bit extra um, in to help me. So I managed to do it. I am so pleased with this, you would not believe. It is something I have needed in my wardrobe for quite a while. So here it is, and I am so excited about this. Um, 
as you can see I added the pockets it's got a um, separating zip all the way down the front I yes I had done that before because I've done the jacket before but I actually couldn't remember doing it before um, I couldn't get sort of similar color so it's slightly gray I did reduce the height of the neck slightly and in the pattern it wanted it to be a little bit higher with a drawstring and I didn't want that because I was never going to tie the drawstring so I left that out and made it a bit shorter I have a short neck anyway knitted cuffs knitted waistband they have you cut the waistband to exactly the same size as the back so it's not elasticating at all now I started off with that didn't like it so I took in a good two inches just so it pulls in and back rather than just drop flat down now I'm never going to wear the uh, jacket and the joggers together certainly not outside maybe inside but certainly not outside but I thought what would look really cool is if I put the same embroidery design on the sleeve so I did I asked my husband where he thought I should put it and he said he kind of likes it when there's a design there so that's what I did so I did the same embroidery design on the sleeve so they could well go together but I, I wouldn't wear um, a matching tracksuit anymore but yeah I'm so happy with this it's so cozy so soft um, I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this I know I am so yeah that was my two items um, as I said I'm modeling them together and I'm modeling them separate because I I wouldn't wear them together I don't think nice deep pockets wow what a success two items out of that one uh, three meters of fabric so that means I have now three fabrics left behind me this beautiful butterfly one this gorgeous coloured blue um, one um, which I got from Echo Bee in Ireland and this was some interlock jersey that Adam from Adam Sews very kindly sent me so I got three pieces left <coughs> and I got three spaces left now the spinner seemed to be spinning it in order so what I'm going to do I've been a bit lazy in the fact that I haven't taken these off so I'm going to spin it and I'm going to spin it until I get it lands on one of the ones that are marked so adding a bit more drama <laughs> into it so I don't know how many times I can have to re-spin till it lands on one of these three but there we go so should we do it and see what my next fabric is going to be as I said I don't know how many times I'm going to have to spin this so you are going to have to bear with me but uh, let's be see. So this will be for the fourth set of fabric. A spin again. Spin again. Yay! <laughs> Got it. Only three spins. Thank you for staying with me. It's the beautiful butterfly. Isn't that amazing? That's going to be wonderful for March. So the winner this time round was this. Now, what have I got? I've got a metre and a half of it, I would say. It is a French terry, loop back French terry. And I'm sorry, but typical me, I cannot remember where I got this from. I might have got it from my fabrics in Germany. Um, yeah I would say it's a meter and a half isn't this so this is perfect going into spring isn't it so obviously I don't need a jacket um, I'm not going to make joggers from it um, I've got a couple of patterns left in mind um, but oh, it is so gorgeous yeah so I hope that you join me again um, in a few weeks time where I will have hopefully be uh, modeling something that I have made from this actually when I see it on me it's actually going to be quite quite in your face so I'm gonna have to be a bit careful but yeah so I do hope you join me again for my fabric rid of fate to see the results of these this fabric here if you haven't caught any of my other videos I will put a playlist at the end of this one um, and also in the description box I'll put a, the playlist to my videos I did last year from the Fabric Wheel of Fate. So after I've made this up I've only got two to go so I've done really well. 
Thank you so much for joining me in my sewing room. It's been lovely having you here. And I wish you all happy sewing and I will see you soon. Bye bye for now.